is up and running. <laughs> All right, so we have Robert Blizzard III, known as RB3, and Wayne Nunmaker. Nunmaker. What? Nunmaker. Nunmaker. Yeah, there you go. Nun Nunmaker. Correct. Okay. Well, we got that. They are bowling for the championship today. They are going for, I think, what is it, three hundred and sixty bucks to the winner and about 160 170 for second place they have bowled a lot of games to get here um robert is the higher seed he'll start on the right lane and we'll go ahead and get started this is the porter's pro shop tournament series Robert's been going hard and straight, and it's been a good, good move for him as he starts off with a strike. Wayne using that fatal venom. Oh, gets, gets away with one there. That had an awful lot of face. Awful lot of face there. We're here at Greenmont Bowl in lovely Hampstead, Maryland. Great place to come out with the family and bowl if you decide to do that. Make sure you tell them you heard about them through Porter's Pro Shop. You can check us out on our Facebook page. Wayne going for that spare. Oh, chops the seven. You can find us on Facebook at Porter's Pro Shop and Bowling Academy. A lot of great tournaments. Kevin McCleary, a past champion, finished in third place today. In fourth place, Anthony Omalua. Fifth place was Hattie Mercer. We paid out 10 spots today. We're paying out over $1,000. All right. Robert leaves the five on that one. Up and, oh, just a little bit light. Leaves him a two, four, five. And he covers that solidly. Drops that five pin. And, oh, he yeah, had that back pin. I missed the back pin on that one. So it's two, four, five, eight. We have a couple of fans still here, out here watching. Some of them competed today. So they're out here watching the building, including Robert's dad, Robert Jr. Here's the shot coming up. That looks good, a little bit light. Just didn't quite make it back to the pocket. Leaves him the baby split, the 2 7. This is one case where he's going to want to make a baby. Oh, Wayne drives the pocket. This one's a tough spare. Got to hit that two pin, let the ball bounce into the seven. And oh, a little heavy, didn't get it off the wall. This is our monthly tournament series. This is the last event before we go to our tournament of champions on July 10th. We've already notified the past champions that um, they have that they are entered. Um, Robert is one of our past champions, so he will be there at the tournament of champions. As Wayne comes up, pulls that fatal, ends up with a seven count. Could have been a lot worse. Robert up on lane 15. That ball's coming up. And yeah, it looks like it hung on his hand just a little bit. These guys bowled a lot of games today. We do have a couple of other events coming up as Wayne goes for that spare. Oh, takes out the three and six, but leaves the head pin standing. Got three standing. He's got the two, four, eight up there. 
not an easy one. It's one of those that's very choppable, but he pushes that 8-pin out just enough to push the 8-pin down. Covers that. We had three squads of this. Uh, two squads on Saturday, a squad on Sunday. Wayne comes up on 15, throws that fatal out there, and oh, the 10 pin says it's not going down. That looks like we got a ball change for Robert. Switching up from that idle he was throwing. Nice smooth release on that, but looks like it hooked a little bit too much. Left him that ugly, ugly, ugly 4-6. Wayne goes for the spin on it. Trying to cover that 10 pin. Drops that 10 pin. 4-6 is really, really tough. Gives it a good try. Throws the pin over there, but got to get a little bounce off the wall for that. That one's tough to... You can't just knock it over. We're about halfway through. These guys are pretty close in handicap. Wayne's got 67 through five. And Robert has 74. We do have a mixed doubles tournament coming up in June, June 19th and 20th at Timonium Bolero. If you haven't signed up, make sure to sign up for that. It's a great event. It's going to be four games. And Robert mixes that up, but doesn't push out that. Um, looks like it is the two pin. And Wayne coming in, coming in, and slaps them all down. On that mixed doubles, we'll be bowling four games. have a male and a female partner and he covers that like a blanket All right, good, good pick up there as we go into frame number seven a very tight match this, this is a handicap tournament there's a little bit of uh, handicap uh, being given up here difference is about 20 pins Gets that ball out, it comes in, and no, oh, everything dances around the seven, but nothing slaps it. <laughs> Tough break on that seven pin. Wayne yeah. pulls that a little bit, hits a lot of face, but leaves only a four seven. We do have a um, women's tournament coming up on June 27th. It's a one-day event. This is that one is for the ladies only. Wayne covering that 470. Chopped it before and he chops it again. These guys are tired. They bowled a good six or seven games today. Makes it a little difficult to maintain speed. The ladies tournament is a handicap tournament and that's coming up on uh, June 27th. If you haven't signed up for it, make sure you do sign up. Robert on lane 15 gets that ball out there looking good, looking good. And it's a bomb into the pocket. He crushes the pocket on that. Wayne trying to answer now. Gets it out. It looks like it's a little high again. This time he only leaves the four pin. Something slapped the seven pin down from the from the wall off the wall there. So only a four pin left standing. As we are now in frame eight. Right now these guys are pretty much even, which would mean that Robert has the lead. Oh, and he misses enough. Those spares are gonna come back to haunt Wayne. That's three he's missed, and they are going to haunt him. He's missed a four pin, and he chopped two four sevens in this match. 
That might be a little too much to overcome. Robert gets the ball out. It's high. Oh, and another 4-6. Trying to mix them up, kicks it. Oh, oh the two pin, the two pin took a love tap but didn't go down. This is pretty much a must make spare for Wayne. Uh, he's got that. That gives him a that gives him a little bit of a chance. As we, as we go to the tenth frame, we've picked up we've picked up some friends here, and, and they're cheering for our our heroes. Robert up here finishing up on lane fifteen. Oh, and he tugs it. Oh, oh, that's. This is going to be a tight finish. Real tight finish. Wayne, a little too much middle, but he carries it. That ball held. I didn't think that ball was going to hold for him, but it did. He carries the strike. Robert's got to make this. And he does. He covers it. the tenth puts that fatal out there and again a little bit too high and this time he leaves the four sex brings that ball in and leaves the five pin so he, <laughs> my thumb hurts so bad Robert's gonna finish with a 147 that is the scratch. So that's, that's my only shot. <laughs> Green picks up one on that 4 6. He is going to finish at 153. So Robert will be the champion. He is the first repeat champion this year. Wayne did a great job. So congratulations to congratulations to Robert for his second tournament win on our series. Uh, make sure you make your plans. Follow us on Facebook at Porter's Pro Shop and Bowling Academy to see the upcoming tournaments. Thank you everyone for tuning in and we hope to see you out there at our mixed doubles coming up at Bolero Timonium June 19th and 20th and at our ladies tournament on June 27th.